then, did you all hear about that Arasaka aircraft carrier docked in Night City called Kujira or the Whale? <laughs> You got up. I might have caught something. I jacked into that corpo's bile mine. No. Neurovirus, sir. Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw out some threads, meet me downstairs. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. You could even call me a collector. Later, B. 9999. Trump team. Don't forget, you're worth it. How you like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next-gen ass whooping he did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so how about it? Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving.
power. <laughs> Jeez, took you long enough. Worked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. And we can drop in on Senor Vector. I you something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass like J-O-B. Where'd you think Go these on. prices come from? I mean, just be happy it's maybe it's not hand. as big as that, but yeah. just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated coup. How'd you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You know me? Oh, but T-Buck, she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. Dexter Deshaun? What's the latest spec on him? I know you got info to spill. He's been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was he took a little vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. What was he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off to hardcore virtues. The important thing is he's back. He's a fresh crew, and he found us. Well, could you save it? So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal is riding on you now, I see. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Now Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong, man. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is a need of his own. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Take a pulse out to a job like Shit. that, so you stupid? Hit the nail on the head, Where do you think these prices come from? Just be happy it's only your hand. Gracias, head. Dios. Yes. Yeah. Lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our, uh, dust off with the Thanks, scabs. Jack. Much appreciated. Some top-notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Stop. Ripper Duck. And Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vic's anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know? Hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. Him out. 
Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. You look pleased. Because I am. Always. Makes for easier living. But... We got a new job lined up. Vicky, spry as ever, you old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. To what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Whole kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshawn. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But? Something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit. But tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Any tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now check in. Kuroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy, then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this... might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. 
So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Same as always. Don't feel a thing. You ask me that every time, you know? Not as if things are gonna be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a doctor. That's what I thought. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Time for the scanner. Take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er-did well. It ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug-free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Guard up, you idiot.
Get up, you idiot. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, I mean yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked, next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? Is some sort of test? Eh, just a pet topic of mine. You mean... riddles? No, Mr. V. Ontology. No, just leave it like that. I mean... All right, he wasn't listen here. close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Hang on. I got a question my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Buck sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. 
and we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith's doubt of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath, chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that, except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop, then the rest goes goulash. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. <laughs> <laughs>